In this lecture, we'll see how we can handle errors with Geolocation API. Now, in earlier lecture, we saw how to get the coordinates, the current location, basically. But what if the user blocks the permission that we initially get when we load the page? In that case, how we'll handle it gracefully? Over here, in this lecture, we'll be exploring that. So here, inside the initializer function, we have our geo dot get current position and then we are giving the callback over here get coordinates now just next to this we'll have our error function as well mentioned and let's call it as handle error okay and let's copy this and create a function over here for this so I'll be pasting it over here saying handle error and inside this handle error function will be basically having one error object which will be part of the callback and then we'll make use of the switch statement on the error code and over here this error code that we have are basically constants so we can simply say case error dot let's say timeout so in this case I can simply log in the console saying timeout similarly other case can be error position unavailable and here we'll simply write console dot log let's say position unavailable and the third one is uh, permission denied so for that we'll have error dot permission denied and uh, then again we'll have console dot log and inside this we'll have the method saying permission denied now just one more thing that we need to have for each case we'll need to have a break statement so I'll copy this and have it mentioned on each line and then we can have a default case over here which will simply have this console.log unknown error and this can be error dot the code itself let's save this and that's pretty much it that we need to do over here so now that handle error function is created and we have passed it over here as a callback let's go ahead and execute this in browser so here the coordinates dot html page is open let me reload this so we'll see that the pop-up comes up asking that this particular website needs to know your location and uh, let me launch F12 first so this is the debugger console if I say block over here you'll see the message coming up as permission denied so basically we are handling the errors which the geolocation API is throwing in a proper way and then we are also showing the same to the user that the permission has been denied and that's the reason why you don't see the latitude and longitude coming up over there now if I reload this page one more time you'll see that it's not again asking me so how to enable it again say clear future visits so here it's asking me again click on allow and this time you can see latitude and longitude values are coming up so that's how we handle errors in geolocation API.